Hello all. Good morning and welcome back to Web Genie. In today's video, we are going to see how to create a basic to-do list application in Angular. So first of all, create a new project using the command ng new to-do list app. So it might take some time to install all the packages and create the new Angular application. So as you can see in the left side drop down, the majority of the files have uh, started to create and they have started to appear. So let us wait for a few moments so that all the packages gets installed and a new to-do list application is developed. So in this uh, to-do list application, we are using Angular and Bootstrap to give a little styling. So you are, we are using all the uh, majority of the Bootstrap classes here. So now the uh, application or the to-do list uh, uh, project is created. Now let us go inside the to-do list directory. So space now let us install the bootstrap so this is the command to install bootstrap npm space install space bootstrap now the bootstrap packages will be installed so once this is done let us start creating a new component so now let us give some uh, let us add the bootstrap inside the styles open source so and go to the angular dot json class dot json here you class. can see the scripts and or go and to styles. styles part so open the source styles part inside that you can see angular dot json class inside this bootstrap css class inside this so that the bootstrap classes will be added inside our uh, as a style now the next step is to create components so go to the terminal again and type the command ng generate to do hyphen list so give the command as ng gc to do hyphen list so this uh, component will be created now let us create one more component ng generate uh, component to do item hyphen item so these two components will be created now once these are created let's start implementing our components so go to the html class now inside an angular component there will be four files one is the html another is the typescript file where we like write the business line uh, business functions here and there is a style or the css component and one more is the spec spec is used to create a unit testing now so uh, inside the to-do list component let us create a container class and let us create a division with a class called card and this card has got two parts one is a, a head a container header or the card header and inside this there is a card title so let us just run our application for running the application we give the command like ng space serve the default port uh, 4200 uh, will be opened in my case it is already uh, used for some reason so let us uh, so it is asking me to create a new port so once this is done uh, it may take a few moments to uh, run your application. So once your application is compiled successfully, go to uh, Chrome or any web browser and open the port, a local host uh, with the port name which is used in your application. So let us open uh, the local host with the port which is used in our application and this is the friend page uh, which is displayed here. 
so we will correct this go to the app component html file so this uh, file is j uh, basically the cover page or the home page of our application so if you want uh, a different home page you have to always list the uh, class here so i am creating a division uh, called container with margin top as 4 and i am uh, listing my component here so this is the name of my component app uh, hyphen to do hyphen list so once I refresh it, I would be able to see the to-do list header um, which we have created inside our to-do list component HTML. Now let us continue writing the HTML part. So we will create another division with class card body and we will create another division inside this for incorporating our input or the uh, input text box. So I am creating a class input group with a margin bottom of 3 and input type is text, a class is form control so that this input will be, uh, this text box will be adjusted according to the size of our uh, card. Now I am creating another division to incorporate the button. So once the once we type a task in our text box and click on the button, this uh, task will be added inside a list. So I am adding a button uh, with the label add task. Now once I save and refresh this, uh, it is being reflected inside my browser. Now let us create the uh, list items. So I am creating an unordered list with the class called list group and there is a list group item to include each list items inside this so uh, in the list items the list uh, the task will be listed so i am creating a span uh, to include my tasks so i am creating a division with uh, flex justify content between and align item center so that my list items will be aligned uh, in the center and I am creating a span to include the text and creating a button so for each list item against each list item a uh, button a remove will be added HTML structure of our component. Now let us go to the TypeScript file and add some business logic. So open the TypeScript file. So this is the uh, TypeScript file which is already created. Now let us add some methods and properties to this this create a array called tasks which is of type string and another uh, variable of type string as new task so both are uh, initialized as empty for now now let us create a method add task so if a new task is not empty the uh, this content will be pushed inside our task array so this is the logic of this add task and then a uh, new task will again become empty Now, once this is done, let us create another method remove task, 
which accept a task as a string parameter now what this method does is it removes the item uh, whatever we have given inside the argument and removes this from our uh, task array so we have to accept a string item task as our uh, argument that is why this error is showing so now save this and edit the rest in the add html so we have to add all this uh, classes now for the input box let us give an ng model so that the two way binding will be applied So new task item will be binded inside this form control and once the uh, user presses enter add task will be called and we are creating a simple placeholder enter a task like that now for the button so once we add the form module inside this app module the error will go now uh, inside our div class let us add add class uh, add task method so this add task works in both the cases once you click on the enter key as well as once you click on the uh, button add task button now uh, let us give a loop for the task so for each task item it goes inside the loop and uh, there is a remove item so once uh, once the remove button is clicked on click event we are calling the remove task so let us just uh, see if it is working yes so tasks are being added now let us go to the styles.css and give some basic styling to this so i am giving a background color as uh, slight blue and container i am specifying as maximum width of 500 pixels and for my card i am giving a border radius of 8 pixels and for my card header i am giving it a background color of blue so i am giving an rbg value here the text inside the card header will be of white and i'm giving a border radius now for my card title i'm giving it as a margin and a padding of 1 rem so these are some of the basic stylings which we are going to apply so the styling has been added now let us go to the card body so just verify you are using the same classes as you have uh, specified it in the html and i am giving it a padding of 1 rem and a background color of white border radius of 4 uh, pixels now for our list items i am giving it a for a border radius of 4 pixels and a margin bottom of 10 pixel now for the form control i am giving it as a, 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 a padding and a margin of 10 pixel now so you can see that the alignments are working now now uh, let us add some stylings to the buttons classes as well
so for my button primary i am giving it a blue color uh, it should be appearing inside as a blue button but i am not sure why it is not taking that last so i'll just uh, give it a blue color and give a tag important so that uh, it will never skip this now for the button secondary so this is how the new um, looks like new window looks like simple to do list application i hope you like my video if you do please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification icon do like comment and share this video with all the fellow coders so we will be meeting with another exciting video soon till then take